congratulations on Unhuman. It was a delightfully <laughs> fun uh, zombie movie with an unexpected twist. Yay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I was like, oh, this is just regular zombie movies. Is it gonna be fast zombies? Is it gonna be slow zombies? And then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Oh my God! You totally turned you and your co-writer. Um, uh, hold on. One. Yes. Patrick, um, yes. Totally took the normal, traditional John Hughes um, kid archetypes and turned them around. I know you guys had sort of written it a little bit, and um, I'd spoken to Brienne. She said that you guys did a little bit tweaking on the writing. Um, how did you guys all come? How did you two come up with that particular twist from a traditional zombie movie? Because it was very unexpected. Uh, the the genesis of it came from a draft by Paul Soder, and the and then its placement and execution w was just we just wanted to make it more of a, a centerpiece, an anchor versus a, a reveal, uh, kind of in the in the back forty, and so. That that was that was a big inspiration. Plus, it it it's it seemed to serve our goal threefold. In that we want to do tell a story that had uh, a new theme of bullying. We wanted to bring in uh, characters cut right from the cloth of the seminal teen comedies and, and of the of yesteryear. But because those most of those comedies really can under reexamination have a lot of a of you know, semi appalling instinct, <laughs> allow the horror movie to walk right in and be like, we've always been here to shatter stereotypes. Now let's see the other layers of these characters, boom. And with that catalyst, you now uh, had the ability to take who is somebody who just seems to be represented by a varsity jacket and reveal there's a complex human in the, in the world of the unhuman. <laughs> Um, so while you and your partner were writing it, um, I'm sure you had in mind that you were going to be directing it once it was all done. Were there certain things that you sort of tweaked while you were writing to sort of um, fit in with the boundaries of reality and, of course, shooting in New Orleans during the summer mm -hmm. and the budget? Absolutely every day. It was, uh, but courtesy of uh, uh, Paul Udo and Paige Pembleton, we uh it was never a no for what we wanted to do there was always a how and so if you really want to like the stimulus of fire or something big they would have a means to do so so that allowed us to be fluid and as long as um really as long as we respected the the inclement weather and we respected the the time we had to execute something the, every moment we were up and shooting was delivered by professionals working at a peak and that goes from the cast to the catering it was just awesome um and that is a direct courtesy of blumhouse hiring a crew for uh several productions in a row so you just they all had a shorthand they you know worked together beautifully i was really one of the only new components um other than the cast i mean so we we got to go into something that was a smooth humming machine uh, and that that allowed us to punch way above our weight. Now, directing um, such a cast of young people, what challenges and positivities did that bring making um, a film where you guys are all pretty much in one location? I loved that it was, you know, knock on, it wasn't a challenge at all. It was a reward. It was it was an honor and and, and, they, and it was inspiring because for once you didn't, it didn't feel like I had to walk on any eggshells with egos. Didn't have to wonder, oh, could you think they could really pull that off? You know, didn't have to worry about any of that. We were, we were, they were just a wonderful united front to, to keep pushing and making this more and more of a special experience. And, and I, I, I loved it. I just thought it was a, a miracle. And now while you guys are writing the characters and sort of tweaks, I know that I had spoken to Brienne. She said, you guys, when you first pitched to her, you didn't have the script 100%. Oh. Um, did you see yourselves, which characters did you see yourselves as while you were writing it? Every single one of them. And, and that just helped keep it honest. Um, and so that meant having to go uh, way into the, the, you know, remember being bullied as a little kid, remember how that felt, remember what it must've been like to, to have that, that strength, that power, but then also try to 
think about how it felt when you see that bully 20 years later and you see what happened to him and you're like well now how much that feel and only because of the cast like josh mickle has one of the best uh of many best best moments for characters he has one that i think is absolutely uh an original in that he comes in and has a reason for being there is no one note even this person who you you meet under certain circumstances and learn a little bit more about it's it it there's a heart there too there's something however broken uh and i and i thought okay that's Let's go for it. I don't know. I don't know when in life I will ever get a chance with this much creative freedom and this much talent at our disposal to go for this moment. And so it was it was great. I loved it. I love movies. Um, I like horror. It always scares me a little bit. Um, and I really have to say that often I don't see myself reflected in um, the casting choices. So I was very happy with your cast selection and your star of Brienne. How yes. did you decide to choose Brienne to be the star and the center point of the film? I would like to say she chose us. I think uh, when you have someone with the the talent of Brienne, you know that's somebody with the world at at her fingertips, and and we were lucky. The opportunity to speak with Brienne and and hope that she would come on board was delivered by the great John McAlary. And John McAlary has uh, I've worked with him twice, once on Pilgrim for Blumhouse, and now this. And his, his ability to see a cast, find a cast, and, and, and paint the movie with, with talent is unheralded. Um, I, I just, I, I, I trust that implicitly, and it's, it's just great. I mean, you can learn so much through, from somebody through a, a quickie Zoom interaction where you're begging them to give you a chance, because when it comes down to it, at some point, it might be 100 degrees, running late, uh covered in blood hoping for the best prepared for whatever happens and go and 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 yet it worked out every dog on time thank you for speaking with me i really enjoyed the film and the twists and the little easter eggs that you had throughout i look forward to your upcoming project series that you're that i read about that you're doing with blumhouse oh bless you uh, thank you wonderful memorial weekend thank you again thank you Yes, same to you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much.